again. Um, so for this workout, you're gonna need um, resistance bands. I've got a couple here. I've got one lightish kind of resistance and then one slightly heavier for the last workout that we're doing or if you need to switch between, um, you, you've got them there as a choice then. Okay, you also need one lightish weight or medium plate and then one that's perhaps slightly heavier. Again, just because on some of the workouts you might want to switch between um, weights, okay? So if you're fairly new to resistance band work, it can be a little bit complicated at times and a bit temperamental. They can kind of like ping off sometimes or um, slip from under your feet. So, um, so as we go through all the different workouts, I'll kind of explain to you what kind of resistance you should have and tips on trying to keep them on your feet and not kind of slip off. I've been doing it years and I still find them pinging off sometimes, okay? So we're gonna start off with a fairly simple um, workout, which is gonna be kind of based around shoulders, upright rows and lat raises, okay? So grab your band. Okay, both feet underneath. So round right about shoulder width, okay? But depending on what kind of band you have, if you're finding it too easy, you might wanna take your legs out. So with resistance bands, you kind of can tailor it, okay? So you can take your wet legs wider if you're feeling there's not enough resistance, or if there's too much, you can bring them in closer, and you can even go to one leg, okay? Or even one band, okay? So you can just hold the one side. So like I said, this one, you can get a really good feel for what the resistance should feel like, okay? So all we're gonna do is handles, parallel to each other, okay? And you're just gonna bring them up and down. There we go. So just an upright row. So I'm gonna take my feet a little wider because if you notice, as I come down, my elbows still stay, stay fairly bent. So what you want is to be able to pull up and then resist going all the way down, okay? Up and down, so it's the onloading of a muscle there and then the offloading you should still feel that resistance going down so you're putting and lowering down with control rather than sometimes if you've got a plate you'll quickly kind of go Phew. so resistance bands are really good for keeping control so up and then resist down so let's just warm up the shoulders a little bit okay bring it up chest up again always squeezing through the core okay now from here let's go into lat raises so this time and to the side, you're gonna bring them up and down. Again, get that resistance right, especially on the way down, yeah, that lowering phase. Up, right about shoulder height, and down. There we go. Okay, both handles together. Back to some upright rows. So resistance bands are a really good piece of equipment. They don't take up a lot of room, so you don't need a lot of storage for them. They're relatively cheap as well. They really are. Compared to weights and bars and things, resistance bands are great. And you can pack them and take them on holiday if you really want it. Okay, back to the lat raises to finish, and up. So with your lat raises, let's try and keep your arms a little straighter this time. It's a bit fatigue starting to set in. It's quite surprising actually, you first start doing these, and it's like, oh yeah, this is really easy. And then the fatigue starts to creep in, keeping those arms straight, control up, control down. Remember that controlling down. Okay, right. This time. So let's put the band under our left leg, my left leg, probably your right leg, yeah? Handles together, legs wide. All we're gonna do, we're gonna start off just getting the movement. Okay, so feet together, sorry. And you're gonna step out and lunge. Okay, so a tap, toe tap in, and then a nice long lunge. And again. So now, Arms are relaxed, bring them up slightly. So let's hold the band right about chest height, okay? 
big long lunge to the side, chest up. Okay, now, let's start to rotate. Out and in. You see, my elbows, I'm keeping them up. So that way, the resistance is staying in the shoulders, okay? Now, can you make this twist bigger? Twist. So now we're really rotating and bringing the obliques into the workout and the back. Twist. Elbows up. Twist. And let's not forget, keep the lunge long. Keep it long. Now, if this twisting is becoming a little bit too much, just drop them back down again and just put in that little half twist. Half twist. If you're not scared of me. Okay, hold here. Can we speed them up? Twist, in, twist, in. Now your standing leg, I want you to keep it slightly bent. Can you see mine slightly bent? That way again, keeping the tension through those leg muscles. Four, three, two, and one. So a bit of a cardio hit as well. Your lungs should feel that a little bit. Can we switch legs? Let's do it. Right. So again, all we're gonna do is from the top, just step out, step to the side, and out, in. Okay, so arms are fairly relaxed here. Let's bring them up to around that chest height. Keeping the chest up. Then let's not forget, use the floor to push back up again from your lunge. Feet in and push up. Feet in, push up. Start to add your rotation, so elbows wide, spread them. Feel like you're spreading your shoulder blades. And twist, rotate, twist. So again, keeping the band tight. Now let's rotate a little more. Rotate, rotate. So actually turn and look to where you're rotating to. That way the whole of your body's gonna follow. Twist, twist, twist. Again, if the resistance is a little bit too much, drop them down and just put in that half twist, half twist. Hold here. Let's go for that cardio kick. Ready? Go. Twist, twist. Yeah, left, uh, right leg is bent. Twist, twist, twist. Twist, four, three, two, and one. Good job, let me have breath. Okay, let's come down onto the floor. So with this one, what we're gonna do is you're gonna need your bands and also a plate. So I'm gonna choose a lighter plate for when we come for our front raises and then when we come into our rows i'm going to change into a slightly heavier plate but of course you can do whatever is good for you with your bands pop them through your feet okay so the handles or if you've got loops or however you can attach them pop them around your feet it's going to keep them in place Pull them up quite high, okay? Otherwise they might slip. So on our knees. So grab your mats if you want a little bit of comfort here. Like that. Right, so we are going to be kicking back with our right leg. So, knees on the mat. I just want to make sure that you can see. As I said, it can be a little bit complicated until we get used to what we're doing. So I've looped the band around my opposite hand. So this one, you're going to stretch out, okay? So you're at an angle-ish. Just stand in front. You're going to pick up your plate. So we're going to kick with our, sorry, we're going to kick with our left leg, sorry. So this leg, the same. Right, hang on, I've gone wrong. Switch. Okay, that's it. So switch the arms. So we're going to be kicking with our. That's it. <laughs> we're 
with our right leg and bringing the left shoulder up. Okay, but to start with, we're just gonna do some kickbacks. Sorry about that. Okay, so I'm used to doing opposites when I'm teaching, so I'm kind of like braiding gear. So if you know what I mean. Okay, so from here, kick back, directly behind and in. So again, have a feel for what this resistance feels like. If you want to, push that arm a little bit further in front. But you want that control kicking out and kicking in. Kicking out, kicking in. So just keep doing this one to start with. I'm gonna show you side on. Okay, so from here, kicking out and in. And you wanna think about lifting your heel up as you extend, okay? In and out, in and out. Now we're gonna introduce the plate. So hold it in your opposite hand. So as we kick out, we're gonna bring the plate up. In and out, in and out. That's it, keep that going. Now with this kicking back leg, let's take it on angle a little bit. Heel up, so you should be able to see my foot now going out to the side as I kick out. What we're doing here is working all sides of our hips and butt and legs, okay? Excellent, and again, out and in. Out on the angle and in. Out and in. This time hold the leg at the angle. I wanna see your leg there. Grab your switch plates if you want to. Get your balance. And let's do some rows. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, keep on the leg, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Excellent, switch sides. So switch your hand over, switch your leg over, get the plates ready. So we're going to start with kicking the leg back and forwards. So again, if you're not really feeling this for your legs and butt, change your bands, yeah? Have a couple there that you can switch. Try pulling the arm out a little wider, a little more in front of you first to create more of a resistance. And then as you kick back, think about lifting your heel up behind. So toes down, heel up, so your foot is flexed, okay? So, let's try it with the weight. You wanna make sure hips stay square, shoulders stay square to the front, tummy's on tight, it's gonna help with your balance. So, from here, out, in, out, and control. We're not rushing. Full extend into the front. In, out, in. Now stop taking that leg on an angle, poking out to the side. And again, push, drive the heel. Four, three, two, one. Okay, change pace if you need to. Leg up to the side, hold. Arm under elbow and row. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Oh, get rid of these bands. If you need to, a little stretch out. Your back feels a little bit tight after that. Stretch out. Okay. Up onto our feet again. Just your band needed for this one. We're gonna do a movement called the wood chop. So, band under one side, 
So again, we're going to use our legs as we step, okay? When it gets much workout, upper body and lower body. Okay, so it's going to be that side lunge, but this time it's going to be more of a, a twisting from side to side. So transferring the weight onto one and then on the other. So toes facing the front, just start to get that rotation first, okay? So the wood chop move is, we start here. We're going to, as we transfer and lean across, we're going to bring the, bar, the band across our body, keeping the chest up and then control down again. Explosive up, control down. Explosive up and down. So this is great. Full body movement from the floor up to the shoulders. So this time, can you whip around a little more? Whip and control down. Whip, control, that's it. Keeping those arms long and straight. Again for this one, like I said, two handles are too much. Drop one, adjust your footwork, make it a little bit looser for you. Carry on. Five, four, three, two, one. We're going to add a little bit more movement. So we're going to bring it up, hold, keeping it long, go over the top, come down to the opposite knee and then relax and release back. Okay, show you one more time. So we're gonna do it with me. Hold, resistance tight. Keep the resistance tight. Transfer to the other side. Hold, hold, arms long, and then release. Okay, ready? So up, across. Keeping those arms long. This is the only time when they bend is when you return back to the starting position. Okay, so tight, tight, and relax. One more, across, hold, across, and relax. Okay, switch sides. Toes to the front. So again, we're gonna transfer that weight. So let's just get the body moving first. Getting used to transferring the weight from side to side, chest up, core strong. That's it. Okay, wood chop. Up, release down. Up. So you're gonna bring that those handles right above your shoulders at that angle. Pulling up. You should also feel this right through the tummy and those obliques and great for your shoulders. Keep that going. Remember that transfer of weight that's going to produce a little bit of power. Let's throw those arms a little harder. Hold. Release, hold, release, hold, release. Three, two, one. Hold there. Let's add on now. So if you've forgotten, just watch. Up to the chop, keeping the arms straight. Keeping the arms straight, and then we release. Okay, so come with me. Hold, 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 release. Hold, and stop to get these legs, rotate. And again, up, cross. 
Let's do one more. Up. Well done. God, how do his arms feel? <laughs> right, we're going to come and do some, um, some glute work. <clears throat> so, with our bands again. What we're going to do here is, so you want to step inside your band, come and look at so you can see. Okay. And then just cross over the top. Okay? Do you see that? Just crossing. I'm going to jump back a bit there. So you get a better view of what's going on down below. Okay, so crossing over. Right leg first. All we're gonna do is hand, hands we're gonna, the handles we're gonna hold just under our ribs. Okay? So elbows nice and spread wide. Okay, and what we're gonna do is step back and forwards. So this is where sometimes the band decides to come off your feet. Really annoying and really frustrating, especially when you're in the middle of the workout. So think about pushing your foot against the side of your band. So your toes are almost like that, okay? But we still want to be kicking behind with the butt, okay? That's it. Now, tip slightly forward as you do it. So you're sticking your butt out and you're tipping forward more. That's it. Now if you can, let's take the tap out. So back, forward, back, forward, back, forward. That's it, that's good, that's good. Well, for me, because that hasn't pained away yet. <laughs> Three, two, one. Same leg, we're gonna take it out on an angle. Again, just to work different parts of our butt muscles and our hips and our legs. So, arms up. Out to the side with a tap. Out to the side. Now, at all times, you want to be pushing as far up as you can, okay? Far up. Leaning forward. Oh, see, told you. Spoke too soon. Let's try it again. So just reset and go again. Lean forward again. Heel up and push. Now let's try and take the tap out. That's good. Speak to you soon. Three, two, one. Oh, both legs hurt. Okay. Switch your legs, sorry. So keep them under both legs. Over the top, we're going to be working the opposite leg this time. So hands here, directly behind to start with. Let me show you side on. Okay, so I'm tipping forward slightly. Back. 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 Let's readjust. Lifting that heel behind you. And as you lift the leg, you're going to tip forward. Remember, gripping the side of the band with the outside of your foot. So let's try now and lift with no tap, no touchdown. So you want to bend your standing leg a little more. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to face the front. Same leg, take it out on the angle. So here, out on the angle slightly. Tipping forward, bending your leg, tapping down in between to start with, or you can go straight into lifting your toe and keeping it up. So you can go into no touchdown. You will need to bend your front leg a little more though, and you will need to tip forward. Excellent. Oh. Good job, good job. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, how does that feel? Crikey. 
Okay, let's just walk it out a little bit. So we're gonna go walk, walk, back, back, out, out. So with this, think about pushing your outside of the, your outside of your foot to the outside of the band. Four, three, two, one. Those should be hurting. Oh, legs feel like jelly. Right, give the legs a little bit of a stretch, okay? Okay, back to our bands. We're going to do another kind of full body workout with this one. So you're going to have the foot under, just one foot under the band. You're going to have you're the same foot that's under. That hand is going to be slightly shorter. Can you see that? Yeah. The back leg is going to be ready in that lunge position. So from here, we're going to hold this one on the outside, and this one we're going to bring out to the side. So before we start to lunge, bring it out to the side, check the resistance. If it's too much, let go a little bit more. There we go, I think that's better. Okay, this hand here we're going to bring into above our head. Okay, to start with, all we're going to do, lunge down and bring one out to the side and up. So this is going to be an L press, okay? So this is part of our L that we're making. Okay, two more. We're going to bring in the overhead press as well, okay? What that knee? Going down to the floor, arms straight. Again, holding that resistance. If you're quite strong through the shoulders here, this is where you might want to change your band and make it a little bit more of a challenge. Remember, you want to keep that resistance, so you don't want to just go, you want to pull it out, hold, feel the resistance as we come back in. Get two for the price of one when you do with the um, resistance bands, especially if you do the offloading of the muscles, just as much control as the onloading, okay? This is too much. Just go back to the side, okay? Four, three, two, one. Excellent. Let's switch. So again, one size and slightly shorter. The outside is going to be shorter, the inside is going to be longer. Foot goes down, and arm comes to the side. You get back in your frame. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Out and in. Keep that arm nice and straight. You can, it helps doing these exercises in front of a mirror or set reflective. So maybe a window might do it in the dark. It's good to be able to see the alignment. Okay, let's push both arms. Hold. Again, remember those options. You can just go back to the side raise or the lat raise, or let's push ourselves. We've got four more, ready? Let's do it. Four, three, two, one. One more exercise left. And this one's still focused on the shoulders, so sorry about that. Shoulders and back, come onto your mat. And come a little bit closer. On this one, you may want to change your bands as well, okay? 
I'm going to choose some slightly heavier ones. So give it a little test out. What we're going to do is, you're going to wrap it under your feet. I showed you side on to start with. <clears throat> or the other thing you can do is if you don't have um, a lot of variety of bands, is with this one, you can just wrap it, wrap it around your hand a little bit um, to make it shorter. So then of course the resistance is going to be stronger for you. So you could do that as well. Okay, so what we're going to do, legs bent to start with. What we're going to do is row in and out. So on the in, we're going to keep everything in narrow. Then we're going to go and almost do a circle. So pull it in, hold, and then do a circle out. Okay, in. The other thing you can do, of course, is stretching your legs for extra resistance. Okay, you keep going with that, and you're going to just face the front, so you get a front view as well. So chest should be up, pull it in, control as you release, in, control, pull it in, control. Remember what I said about the legs, yeah? If you want a little bit more of a challenge, straighten your legs. If it's becoming tough, bring them up. Shorten the length of your band. Okay, complete this last one. Bring it in, hold. From here, elbows up. We're going to pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7. Don't drop those elbows. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, go straight back into, pull, wide, pull, wide, pull in, elbows wide, in line with your shoulders, this time 16, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Release there. Okay, workout's done. Let's just have a little bit of a stretch off. So come down to the floor. Oh, I'm that wide. So on our fronts. From here, arms long. Bring them up and hold. Bring them to the front. Bring them back in and go wide again. Hold, out, in, go wide. This time, let's bring the lower body in as well. So in, hold here. As you lift to the side, lift your legs up. It's gonna give you a nice back stretch and through the legs too. Hold them, release them, lift them, Hold them, release. One more time. Hold and release. Nice cobra stretch coming up. <sighs> A quick stretch through these arms. And the other side. There we go. Good work, guys. Thanks for joining me. See you again soon. Bye.